Hello and thank you for visiting Miami Star Tarot. I am Natalia Roos. I am finishing up um, something that I started uh, earlier, I mean, yes, earlier last week. Um, I was doing July 2020 general readings and I was, my goal was to get them all done at the end of June, but I ended up um, having <clears throat> A little medical uh, issue so I was out for a week so I apologize for those of you who have been waiting for Taurus and Gemini I am uploading Aries as I speak right now this is general reading for July 2020 for Taurus uh, right now and I will be doing Gemini as well later so for this uh, general reading I am using the Bianco Nero tarot card deck it is a gorgeous black and white deck, uh, <clears throat> ink illustrations, hand-drawn, beautiful deck. I've been using this for all of the zodiac signs for this July 2020 general reading. Um, so I will get started with our Tauruses. I will put this aside right here, the box. I just wanted you to see what the box looks like in case any of you are interested in buying them. And I get most of my cards from uh, eBay, not eBay, what am I talking about? Most of them I get them from Amazon, although this uh, card I got from a metaphysical store here in Denver. Um, yeah, just beautiful, beautiful cards. Very unique to see black and white cards. But anyways, <clears throat> put that aside. I will start by shuffling the deck and see what's in store for Tauruses, July 2020. And this is not anything specific. It's not about love. It's not about money or careers or planning, like future. It's just whatever seems to be coming out for July 2020. It could be a very important thing that's happening for you in 2020, July 2020, excuse me. Or it could simply be something that's just, um, something that's just going to come up in July 2020 that needs your attention as well. Okay, Taurus. So let's see what's going on for you. <clears throat> July 2020. I am a Taurus sun and Taurus moon, but I am a Leo rising. So I always uh, listen for Leo as well. All right. So let's do one more. Le uh, sorry, I almost said Leo. Taurus, July 2020. One more. Taurus, July 2020. What is going on? All right. There we go. I will cut the card. <clears throat> so I will be doing what I call a gypsy spread, which is a kind of a modified Celtic cross. It has six cards. And if I need, I will pull clarifying cards as well. Let's see camera always shows things just slightly different so there we go <clears throat> I just want you guys to be able to kind of see what's going on move this up just a little bit all right past and present I'll leave these cards here for clarifier cards if I need them <clears throat> spread myself out a little bit so what is the central theme Taurus for July 2020 the devil letting go making changes getting rid of addictions getting rid of bad habits July is going to be all about changes for you Taurus okay I am going to pull a clarifier <clears throat> now that the devil card is always something that makes a lot of people go, oh, or, oh my gosh, why am I getting the devil card? It could be a good thing. It is an acknowledgement that something needs to change, okay? And, you know, getting a devil card, there's definitely something that needs to change, and we cannot argue that, okay? So I am a Taurus. I'm curious how it's going to resonate with me, even though as a tarot reader, it's so hard for me to read my own cards, um, even when I do a spread that's meant for Taurus, but, you know, it... it it's probably the best time for me to pay attention as well as a Taurus. But otherwise, when I'm trying to do my own readings, it never works. All right, wands. <clears throat> so you got nine of wands, Taurus. Something needs to change. And it looks to me like you are kind of on a, 
on a defense about something or you're kind of guarded about something. And you're going to have to take a look at what in your life you need, why you're being uh, on guard. Like, what are you guarding? What are you being protective about? Are you doing something that you quite not want to admit, so you're kind of keeping people away from you so that they don't notice it? Are you, <clears throat> it could be simply, are you in a relationship where people are telling you, you know, I just don't think that person's good for you, and you're kind of on the defense? Or are you, you know, I don't know, like for me, like if I was to apply this to myself, um, I know that I've been talking about um, eating better and trying to, because um, I go through weight things where I gain a little bit of weight or I lose too much weight, and I'm always kind of on the fence about, you know, is it exercise that I need? Is it uh, either way? I know that I need to get a hold of my uh, my health, for example, and it's not like I'm overweight or I'm too underweight or anything like that. But it's just always something that I want to do, but I never have time to do. But I'm always thinking about it, you know? I've always wanted to do a YouTube channel on exercise and eating correctly. So maybe that is, for me, that is my, I have to change that, you know? I have to stop thinking about it, obsessing about things, and just get to it. Stop being on the defense. Just take control, you know? For In my case, you know, I gave an example for myself. But for you, it could be anything. All you Tauruses out there have all different kind of lives going on. So it can mean totally different things for other people. Just think about something that maybe, it could be a relationship. Maybe it is something to do with being healthy and active. Uh, maybe, you know, some addictions you might start trying to think of getting rid of. Gambling it could be drugs, alcohol too much partying, um, maybe those of you in college that didn't try so hard, you know, you had a little bit too much fun your first year of college, you're going back and you think, you know what, I need to give up the, my ways of partying, I need to focus a little bit more on education and getting through college. So think about it, Taurus, think about anything that has you um, kind of worried, like you're thinking about it too much, like, oh, I shouldn't really be doing this. Think about it. It is time, July, it is gonna be a time for you to make that change, okay? Or, <clears throat> if you're not gonna to totally make it in July, it is gonna be a time that you're going to make the decision to start planning moving ahead with these changes. All right, the obstacle right here. And these are things that can be working against you. It could also be, which doesn't come off so much as an obstacle, but it could also be more like, um, a goal that you need to reach that's not, it's its out of reach to for you. So you, you're trying to, it's your obstacle, it's, it's the thing you need to get through, okay? And it looks like it is the sun. And you know what, I'm so glad that I explained it that way because what is more beautiful than a beautiful sunny day, right? How could a sun be an obstacle? Well, the sun can be an obstacle if this is what you're trying to get to, but you can't because you have to get rid of your whatever it is that is in the way to get your sunshine, okay? So the obstacle at this point can be getting there, but I'm gonna pull a clarifier for this one as well. You're not gonna be able to reach your goal until you work on whatever it is that you need to get, get rid of, okay? And I'm gonna say it again. The fact that you have the devil here as your general mood, the tone for for this reading, there is definitely something going on, Taurus, that you need to work on, okay? There is no doubt about it, okay? And your success, your sunshine, is going to depend on your dedication and your commitment to work on the things you need to work on, okay? Having sunshine in your life, having happiness, and being free of those bonds that drag you down is going to be an obstacle, if you don't get your act together, okay? I'm gonna pull a clarifying card, and it is the Four of Wands. Now, <clears throat> for some of you, this could be celebration of love, maybe moving into the next step of a relationship. Some of you may have something going on in your life, something that you're doing or something you're not letting go of that is keeping you from moving into the next step in your relationship. 
okay? This is the one of the many cards that indicate uh, soul connections, love, marriage, happiness. Um, because it's wands, I'm going to say it is something that makes you very happy, something that makes you want to celebrate, something that you want to commit to. Um, you know, and I'm going to I'm going to talk about love right now. If it's not love for some of you Tauruses, like for me, I wouldn't say it's love for me, but I definitely have some passions, okay? I definitely do want to get that YouTube channel going with the exercise and the nutrition and you know, how to stay healthy when you're really busy and that that is a big thing for many people. It's been on my mind for about 5 years now. I even have a trademark and I haven't moved forward. And it's because I just can't get my own life back the way it should be. I can't manage, you know, uh, my schedule and all that stuff. So enough about me, but I'm just showing it. I'm showing you an example of how you can apply it. Like it's a passion, okay? Could be love. It could just be a simple passion that you have. Maybe some of you guys want to get into maybe some... You, some exercising maybe you want to take up a new hobby like yoga and you've been meaning to do that but you know you you party too much and it you know on the weekends you're just too tired to go to classes during the school day you have too much homework because you put it off those are the things i'm talking about taurus okay so here we have our passion okay it's going to be an obstacle and it supports these two cards go so well together they support each other very well your passion and your happiness is an obstacle at this point until you get whatever it is that you need to work on out of the way. All right. Up here is our, um, <clears throat> it's things that are, it's like a soft future. Uh, you don't have them yet, but you, it could be at your disposal here soon. Okay. It depends how things go. Tarot is always live. Things can change. So it's, it's not, nothing's a given here because things can change day by day. This is something that might be at your disposal for you to utilize, but it's not yours yet. Okay. And you have the six of pentacles. Okay. And six of pentacles is about sharing, about generosity, about giving and receiving. Okay. Sorry, I need to get a drink. Um, all right. So you have in your possible future, at your possible disposal, the ability to balance your life, okay? To have the balance that you need to get rid of whatever addiction you have or the bonds that you have on yourself and to move into a better life and maybe start the hobby, start the lifestyle and start on the path that you want, okay? So this is at your disposal. It will be there for you, success. These are the six of pentacles. You see a balanced scale. This person is giving to somebody, but it's also not just about giving, but it's about getting, okay? But sometimes where you need to start is you need to give. Giving is often the first step to receiving too, okay? Sometimes when people are looking and thinking, well, you know, whatever it is in their relationship, let's say it's, it's a relationship. Well, this person never um, wants to work things out, blah, blah, blah. And they do this and they do that. Well, you know what? The, the best thing you can do is start with yourself. Okay. Take the initiative, take the first step. So balancing things out, give and take, finding a common ground is definitely in store for you, Taurus. Okay. It looks like a hopeful, like a very successful um, possibility coming your way. This card is kind of the opposite of this one. This is what you already have. This is what you have to work with. It's, it's yours to utilize. It's a tool. It's a way of thinking. Anything that you can use at your disposal right now. And you have the Ten of Wands. Okay. Ten of Wands, a burden. Pick up everything and move on. Get going. Pick it up, let's go, don't stay there anymore. Total supportive card for the devil. It is time for you and you have it at your disposal. You know it in your heart, you know it in your brain tours. It is time to move on. And you know you need to pack it up and go. Whatever it is that is causing you this feeling of incompleteness, 
this feeling of stagnation or whatever, of not being productive, you know it's time. It, there's no doubt in your mind, you know it's time to pack it up. Time to put it away, time to move on, Taurus. That is what you have at your disposal. There is no question that the time is now. All right, moving on. Recent past. Recent past can mean a lot of things to different people. Recent past can be yesterday. It could be five years ago. If it's affecting your daily life and your present, it is something that is considered somewhat recent past to your present, okay? Queen of Cups, all right. I'm going to pull up Clarifier immediately for that. And the Magician, I love it, Taurus. You are definitely a person who expresses their emotions. You feel things. You use your intuition. And you have a lot of love in your heart for those people who you really care about. That's one of the biggest traits in Tauruses that um, I can definitely connect to. I don't connect to Taurus a lot, but that is the one thing uh, in Taurus that I definitely do connect to is when I love somebody, I love with a passion, okay? It is in very intense passion, whether it's um, my husband, boyfriend, or my daughter, my, my mother, my father, my sisters, everything that I love, I love with complete and 100% passion, okay? That helps me decide the right courses for things as well okay and i think that's what's and it doesn't matter if you're male or female the queen of the queen of cups is simply an emotional and a very um sympathetic person and that, that could be you okay um it could be someone that uh is in your life that's like that as well but i think that with this card right here it means that this is you and you have that in your past that has always helped you and it affects you in your present okay the other magnificent thing that i love this card right here taurus is the magician you are the magician taurus you have everything that you need to move past whatever it is that you need to move past you can be whatever you want to be the magician has the wand the passion the creativity the magician has the pentacle which is the resources and the material that you need to get things done. Um, the magician has the sword. He can cut through the air. He can cut through the BS. He can get things done. He can use his brain, leave his heart out. And which one am I missing? The cup. He's got the cup of love, the cup of emotion. He can feel when it's appropriate. He can use his heart. He can uh, apply love. The magician has everything he needs to get through whatever he needs to get through. And it shows a pattern here, Taurus, that you have always been capable of doing what you want to do because you have all the resources. You, have, you were born with all the resources. You are not short in any area in your life, okay? You've got the brains, you've got the heart, you've got the passion, and you've got the mind to do what you need to do. You're wicked smart, Taurus, and that is always working for your advantage. All right, let's move on. This is your near future again. It could be something that's two years away. It could be something that's tomorrow. And this is also your likely outcome of what can happen. And you've got the Knight of Pentacles, okay? Now this is interesting because Taurus signs are not known to be very fast moving people. I'm a Taurus, that is completely ridiculous for me because I am go, 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 go. Um, but for other Tauruses, this may be the case. Slow moving, the knight is a slow moving, uh, The I'm sorry, the knight of pentacles is a slow moving knight, but definitely a knight that brings with it in the correct way what needs to be happening so it looks to me like if you take the path of knowing what you need to do going for it 
Um, taking your guard down, making sure that you get rid of whatever, either it's if it's an insecurity or take away your defenses. And you move forward. You you got this the wands as well. You got the nine and the ten of wands. You move forward. You just pack it up. You know what? I'm done with this. It's over. I am not letting anything linger. I am not, you know, I am not going to just hit a couple parties here and there. No, you are going to get rid of whatever it is you need to get rid of, okay? I'm not going to party just on the weekends. If you need to clean it up, Taurus, you are cleaning it up. And if it's about love, I'm not just going to see this person that one more time. It's over. It's done. I'm packing it up. This is, this is the night that brings forward things in the correct manner, the right path. It may take a little bit longer, Taurus, but it's the right way to go, okay? Sometimes things are worth waiting for and it just takes you a little bit longer. There's nothing wrong with that. And this is definitely the night that says, I'm on my way. I'm coming to take care of things. I'm going to take my time because slow and steady wins the race. And that's what's going to happen with you. I'm going to pull one more card for clarifier, even though I honestly don't feel I need it, Taurus. You are definitely going to be successful in whatever it is that you're trying to get rid of. And there you go. Happy life. Happy home. Happy family. Happy friendship. Happy you. You got the Ten of Pentacles. A lot of pentacles here. At least these last few ones have been pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, which is about balancing, giving, and taking. This is happy life, happy you, happy so you're secure in your life, you feel well taken care of, you're taking care of yourself. You're going to have a very good path ahead of you, Taurus. Whatever it is that you feel that you need to get rid of, you will get rid of it, and you will move on to new paths and you will have find your success. This is one of the most beautiful, successful cards you can have in the tarot, Taurus, and you got it, okay? So July 2020, you may not get rid of all of this in July, but July is definitely gonna be a month where you are going to get the plan, the, either plan rolling, and for some of you, you may just be on, on the right track all of July, so then when August, September hits, you're on your way to complete success. All right, Taurus, I hope this resonates with you. If it does not, I apologize. Maybe next time. Please give my video a, a thumbs up. Uh, maybe comment if you wouldn't mind. Um, I always love feedback and suggestions. I would love to see what you guys want to see in a video. Um, and subscribe to my channel, please. And I completely appreciate it. Thank you for coming and visiting Miami Star Tarot. I'll see you later, Tauruses. Bye-bye.